Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shishin. Today, we are going to talk about the project of the Flowing School. In this project, we are going to explore the relationship between solid and void. And usually in architectural design, it contains solid and void space at the same time. And solid and void can create balance in the design. And most of the time, we define solid space and void space simply by indoor and outdoor space. In this project, I'm going to explore more deeply and redefine solid and void. So first of all, let's talk about the site. Our site is located in Brooklyn under Red Hood area. In this area, over 80% of lands are manufacturing use and only 10% is for residential. Another 10% is for green space. And under this area, we only have five public schools and one public library. So the purpose of the design is creating a new school for children who live surrounding the site. Before we start to design, we do some little research about what is solid and void. Solid space and void space usually defined as building and open space in the site planning or architectural design. However, the buildings are developing, if the buildings are developing along with the open space, we can say that the open spaces are solid parts and buildings are the void part in the design. And solid versus void also can be used in the construction idea. By taking out pieces from the buildings, creating indoor courtyard, however, the volume that took out from the buildings can be solid object by themselves. And Neon River Visitor Center are using a similar idea in the design. Under the design of Neon River Visitor Center, the indoor spaces and the outdoor spaces has similar ratio which means the void is as important as the solid spaces. However, in this design, the office spaces of the center are developing along with the open space. And open spaces are connecting all different indoor spaces together and creating circulation under this design. So in this design, the open courtyard and the path is, will consider as a solid pieces and the, and the office will consider as void piece. Solid and void also can define as scale and structure. Under the house B design, different scale of structure can consider as solid object and the space that created by the structure can consider as void. Following this two precedent study idea, the early concept model is testing the idea of scale and void idea. And the early concept sketches are thinking about indoor courtyard and stacking different size of boxes together. Along with the sketches and the models, the first concept design is trying to merging void space and the solid space together because sometimes is sometimes solid also can be void and creating an enclosed space inside of the building. By explore different size of boxes, create different level, levels inside of the design and break down the entire space into, diff, uh, into pieces. The purpose to do this is try to break down the tradi traditional boxy classroom and creating an enclosed spaces for children who study inside. And this is how the chunk model developed by. Further discussion is zoning analysis. Our site is under R6 zoning with maximum FAR 480% for community facility, such as school, and lock coverage can up to 70%. And follow the chunk model. Stage one design is try to merging the idea of an enclosed space and explode boxes and create an early design of school that have many levels inside of the building and have different scales of spaces inside of the building. The entire design is following the open space that's set on the ground. The buildings are developed around the open spaces. Therefore, in this design, the open spaces are the solid object. So further precedent study is from the Trini house. So after the stage one design, the, uh, the, Trini, house, uh, the Trini house is bringing another further idea to talk about solid and void. So under this design, we read, uh, we rethinking or reconsidering the scale and uh, scale versus structure. And Trini House is a design that merging different scale of boxes together and creates spaces between boxes. And different boxes also have its own void space. 
followed by this idea, the next stage model is testing different size of floor and walls and intersect this floors and walls together and let them supporting each other by intersection and stacking. And the spaces will create between floors and walls by stacking or intersection. After that, the Princeton study of Gallery S is exploring solid structure versus void space. Under this design, the volume of solid spaces are much larger than the, uh, the volume of void spaces are much larger than the solid structure. However, by rotating walls and floors, Gallery S creating spaces followed by letter S. And void spaces are twisting and flowing because of the rotate, rotated walls and floors so that the space are no longer just simply created by boxes. Followed by the idea of Gallery S and Trini House, uh, the next step is redefine the structure and models by rotation and scale. By smoothing the angles of walls, creating movement in the design, just like a flowing water that flows around the floors and walls, then transforming this idea into physical models. And based on the physical models, the stage two design are more about flowing movement be between floors and walls uh, in order to create rotated spaces and break down the boxes and make the spaces no longer just boxy space. And this is the site planning and programming, how to lay out on the site. And this is, this is the models that develop based on the stage two physical model. And the section is showing the different levels of floor plates inside of the buildings and flowing walls that smoothing the structure. After that, this is the elevation of the section. And this is the exterior rendering. Followed by that is interior rendering. And the last one is the render of the structure and the space. Thank you for your time.